I'm not, I'm not really hating on it because people got to find their way to eat. You know what I'm saying? If that's your way to eat, so be it. But uh, there's a difference to how you carry yourself. If you are making a thousand dollar beat and you feel like that's your value and you give it away for $25, then that means you really don't believe in yourself enough to wait until the right opportunity. Because I think, I really believe that if, you, if you're called to do something, if you have a gift that you do it, God will bless it. If you're trusting him in that manner, um, he'll bring the right opportunity for you. You gotta be willing to wait for it. So I think um, there are a lot of people that, that rape the industry. They rape the industry from doing whatever it takes to blow up. And then they don't, a lot of times they don't have longevity because you know, somebody could come in and say, yo, I want to buy beef from you. I want to give you 50 bones for it. And then somebody right after will come in and be like, I had a $5,000 budget for you, but you just sold that beat to him for 50. That's a bad look. I definitely feel they should be fearless in their sound. But I think the, the greed factor, people get greedy. You know, when you're greedy, uh, you're willing to make the same car over and over and over and over and over. You're just willing to make that same sound because it worked the first time. You know, I made a million dollars off this sound. I need 10 million, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on everybody I know. And then what happens is, it's, it's really not the producer's fault. Uh, sometimes it's the label or it's the artist's fault that says, I want that sound. And so if they coming at you and they like, yo, I want that sound, what you gonna do, you gonna be, and they, they got a $10,000 check waiting for you, you gonna make that sound. You gonna do that beat. Um, but it should come a point where, or if you are doing that, at least have some other stuff on the side that you're working on that you're releasing and doing too. So that way they can see that you're not just a one lane producer. If you wanna be that, then you know, do that, but also have your other stuff that you're working on. So, you know, you can put it out and show them, yo, I got leverage, you know, I got range, I can do this, I can play, I can play bass, I can hire him musicians and get the sound that I want out. You know, always do that too. Don't just stick with that and be lazy and just, you know, sell all these beats and then you sitting back eating nice. I mean, but hey man, to each his own. People like, you know, they want to eat, they want to live that lavish life. You know, if you balling out of control in that area, people are going to come to you. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.